Hey guys, Caleb Coffee here again with PoleVaultDrills.com and uh, in this video I'm just going to talk um, a little bit about my thoughts this week and uh, some notes that I've been kind of going through internally. Um, I, uh, I uh, talked to some some coaches this week and observed some vaulters and so I just kind of want to tell you guys exactly what um, what I'm thinking, what I came up with, my, what my conclusion was, and uh, so this this video is going to be talking uh, mainly about uh, hip height at your takeoff. Okay. Uh, so a lot of coaches teach. Well, everyone uh, says that you need to have, you want to have the most, the largest takeoff angle possible when you're leaving the ground, and uh, you do that by having a completely straight top arm and fully extended body. You do that by having your step directly underneath you um, and everything nice and tall. All right. Um, another uh, part of that, that that most people don't really talk about is uh, your hip height. And um, you know we talk about having tall hips at takeoff but but how do you do that? Do you just think tall? Uh, it's not that easy for some kids or coaches to coach their kids. So. Um, so as I was thinking this week, and I was watching some vaulters, I noticed that the kids who had the quickest feet at the end, and what I mean by quick feet is obviously increased in stride frequency, but also getting them underneath, underneath them, not out in front, but underneath their hips. As I watched those vaulters, the ones with the quickest feet at the end, their hips actually went up in height before they left the ground. So as before they left the ground, they increased in height. So throughout their middle runway, they're picking up speed, they got nice big strides, and then as they increased their stride frequency and got their steps under their hips, it increased their hip height. And uh, and then in result, they had a better takeoff angle, they had, an, they had really good vaults. And so, um, you know, when you're coaching, if you're an athlete, you're struggling with your takeoff angle, if you're, if you're a coach and you're wondering what to tell your kids, you know, getting those feet directly under your hips makes a huge difference when when you're taking off. It makes a huge difference in that takeoff angle. All right, so that's week one of notes and thoughts. Um, make sure you guys uh, come back for week two. I'm gonna be throwing up a video like this, trying doing it every week. And I uh, hope, hope you guys take something from this. Hope this helps. So, see you guys next time.